In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the items under the Compile menu. First, make sure that the correct device is selected under Target. The second drop-down should automatically populate with the correct compiler to use. Some of the items in this menu require that the development board be connected to the computer, so make sure everything is properly connected. The Build button will compile the modified units and build the project. Build and Run will build the project, load the hex file to the target, and then run the program. You can select the option to use to program the device. This program will tell the green LED on the board to start blinking. Compile will compile the current unit. If the project has only one unit, then Compile and Build will both create the program image. If the project has multiple units, then Compile will not create the program image. Rebuild works the same as Build except it will compile all the units instead of just the modified units and will build the project even if the files did not change since the last compile. Let's look at what happens when we try to compile a file with a couple of syntax errors in it. The errors are listed in the output section below. Double click on one of the error lines to go to the line in the code where the error is occurring. You can also right click on the error line and select help on this message to see more details about the error. Another useful tip is if you place your cursor inside the name of a built-in function and press the F1 key, it will bring up the documentation for that built-in function. The Clean button will delete the output files for the current project. The Output Files area is where you can find some of the output files. Statistics will show project statistics including ROM and RAM usage, detailed function analysis, and more. C slash ASM list will show each C source line and the associated assembly code generated for the line. Call tree will give a graphical representation of function calls throughout the code. The call tree in this example isn't very interesting, so here is another example. Double clicking on a function in the tree will show you which functions it calls. Symbols will show each register location and what program variables are saved in each location. The program button will program the target chip. You can manually select which programming tool to use. These tools can be added or removed using the IDE options in the options menu. Let's disable a couple of the tools that we won't be using. Click on the apply button to save the changes. Notice the add and delete buttons. The disabled tools no longer appear in the drop-down options. Debug will debug the code on the target device. You can manually select which debugging tool to use. To learn about how to use the debug tool, watch our video about the debug menu. Visit ccsinfo.com for more information about the easy-to-use CCSC compiler IDE and for purchasing options.